What's up everyone, my name is Autobot Prelude, my goal is to cover everything hardcore related for Diablo 2 Resurrected. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Trap Assassin for an early ladder push and what makes it so great. Now, of course, before D2R released, they actually announced that they fixed the Trap Assassin bug that was in Lord of Destruction, preventing elite mobs to spawn or lowering that rate because the game would consider the traps an elite mob. So, now that that's been fixed, the Trap Assassin's definitely up there on the tier list when it comes to an early ladder push. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Stay a while and listen. Alright, so before we start, let's discuss what makes the Trap Assassin so great. If you're having a hard time deciding on what character to go with, this might help you change your mind off the rip. Right. So for an early ladder push, you're looking at, you know, pushing through the game as quickly as possible, leveling up. And with that being said, maybe not getting the best gear in the process. Well, I'm in hell right now. And if, if you look at my resistances, they're terrible. OK, 47 fires, the best resistances I have right now. So this is what makes the Trap Assassin so great. They have a skill called Fade, which gives you all resistances and also some damage reduction in the process. Now, if you look. My resistances are 75, 70, 45, and 45. Much, much better, right? Now, this is the best part about the Trap Assassin. Look at my gear. It's garbage. Well, in a, in a sense, right? Obviously, 96 MF is not garbage, right? <laughs> and 72 MF. Um, now, if you just look real quickly, because I don't feel like adding, I have 191 MF, and I have fucking good resistances, dude. Like... That, I think, is one of the things that really sets the Assassin apart from a lot of the other classes, is that they have such a huge advantage for an early ladder push. Now, of course, there is the downfall of no teleport, you know, you're not playing a sorceress. But honestly, I, I think this is what makes the Trap Assassin so great, is that little to no gear can get you so far into the game. Right now, I, I'm missing a ring here because I, I geared my sorceress who ended up dying <laughs> due to the game freezing. But needless to say, um, the Trap Assassin is a great character, okay? I don't want to waste too much time here, but before we dive into the skills and everything, one of the issues you're going to come across running Fade is that you have low attack speed. Uh, trap Assassins do not use faster cast rate. They use attack speed. So just find something with like 20, 30% attack speed, and that'll make up for that slow cast speed uh, of the traps there. All right, so now let's talk about the skills, what you're going to use, and how you're going to use them. Of course, we're going lightning traps, and your main trap or skill is going to be lightning sentry. You're going to also put in some death sentries in there and the mix, but we'll get to that in a moment. That's mostly for hell gameplay. Um, but to start off, you're going to max out lightning sentry, charge bolt sentry, and I only put 10 points in the shock web for the moment, right? As I'm leveling up, because I also wanted to get some points in the death sentry as well. But ultimately, you're going to max out death sentry, lightning sentry, charge bolt sentry, get about 10 points in the shock web for the moment, okay? And then you're also going to come over into Fade. I think at least 10 points into Fade is a pretty good start. Uh, not only is this going to give you all resistances, but it also provides damage reduction. It doesn't actually say that, but it's something that uh, you know us as a community have figured out that each hard point is 1% of damage reduction. So with having 10 points in there, you have 10% damage reduction. That's not a whole lot, but it's better than nothing and it will help, okay? And the reason I say to split Shockweb and fade, at least for the start, get about 10 points in the fade and then go back into shock web and finish maxing that out. It's because most of your damage you're going to get or even need is going to come from just maxing those three out. Not only that, but you're playing hardcore, right? Or I'm tackling this video in the perspective of a hardcore player. So damage is important, but it's not nearly as important as survivability. Because at the end of the day, the race is to level up and survive. And if you die, your race is over. You got to start over, right? So that's why I split those points there. 
So this is what I really love so much about the uh, Trap Assassin. So I have a group of Dark Lancers here, and they're completely lightning immune. They're fucking me up, they're fucking my Merc up. But see, what I've done here is I've killed a few other enemies that were cold immune. And now I'm setting up Death Sentry uh, around them, and I'm using Death Sentry to actually corpse explode and, and take out the lightning immunes. So basically, the Trap Assassin has no immunity in the game. Now, don't get me wrong, it's gonna it's gonna take some time, right? So like right here, we got these guys, they're all lighting immune. I can't do nothing. So I need to keep running, right? Find these devilkin. We're gonna take advantage of the devilkin. We're gonna drop our death sentries. Boom. Right? We're gonna run. Death sentries are gonna fuck up them. Drop more death sentries, and bada bing, bada boom. So you're gonna use your lightning sentry to take out the initial group. Switch completely over to Death Sentry to allow them to use the Corpse Explosion to finish off any Lightning Immunes. And voila, there you go. You can literally solo the entire game. Now, some areas are going to be slow. For example, Maggot Lair is going to be a nightmare, okay? Um, now, <laughs> if you have a good Mercenary or you have a Colossus Volge on your Merc at this point, here, and I'll actually grab some gold and show you what that looks like. A Colossus Volge right here is the best insight weapon for a mercenary, okay? Now, you can take this one step further and look for an ethereal superior Colossus Volge. But, uh, you know, just, just the basic Colossus Volge will, will do wonders, I promise you. It's a lot better than the Bill and the Volge and, and the other four open socket pole arms. Um, it, it's, you know, it does require a good bit of strength, so keep that in mind, it's in-game, 210 strength, so, you know, doing things like this will help, uh, get you to the point that you need. Um, but nonetheless, you know, you can, you can walk the whole game, and you can solo a lot of areas too. Uh, of course, you got catacombs that you can solo, trap assassins are really good for taking out pits in the outer cloisters, you just go out, walk out of outer cloisters, look for, uh, Hits in the Tombow Highlands. You can do um, Countess, Hell Countess for runes and also for keys. You can also do Arcane Sanctuary, looking for the Summoner and uh, as well as keys. If you want to take it a step further, you can try Mephisto. I, I would say it's a it's a pretty safe bet. Drop your traps early, let the traps do the work, then you move forward. Drop your traps, let the traps do the work, then you move forward. You gotta play it safe, because if you run into dolls and endurance, it doesn't take much to kill you, okay? Obviously, running uh, Fade will help out a lot there with the damage reduction. And if you have some damage reduction on your gear, that'll help with survivability as well. Um, but those dolls hurt. <laughs> they hurt a lot. I almost forgot attributes. The general consensus, as usual, is the base amount of strength and everything into vitality, right? Now, of course, that's really just going to depend on the gear you're using. I'm not using a whole lot right now. Like, nothing really requires any strength, right? So, that's why I have the base value of 65 there, and I just put everything into vitality. And if you see, it really does pay off. I got 1,300 life, you know? So, um, of course, the, it could be better, but, you know, it adds up, and it will help with the survivability. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have for y'all. You know, I really think the Trap Assassin's a great starter character for an early ladder push, especially for hardcore. It's a very safe build. It's very consistent when it comes to early game magic finding. Uh, and especially once you get to hell, sometimes you're rewarded more for walking in hell than you are teleporting. So it's a catch-22. Do you want to teleport and get through things quickly as possible and do as many runs in a short amount of time? Or do you want to slow the pace down, kill everything, and potentially find just as good loot? So it uh, just depends on your goals for magic finding and getting the items that you desire. Um, but at the end of the day, Trap Assassin is a great, great build overall for just about any player, new or experienced. But nonetheless, this video has gone on a little longer than I wanted it to. So y'all have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.